Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The word boa constrictor was historically synonymous with a giant snake. But we know, of course, this is a misnomer, as boa constrictors not only aren't giant snakes, but a lot of them aren't even in the large snake range. It seems like there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding out there with people asking about how big their pet boa may get to. So today I wanted to give you some perspective from my experience and show you examples of larger adult boas of several different types. And I hope this provides you with some perspective as to how big your boa might get. So I'll start off with a simple answer to the question of how big your boa might get. Well, even if your boa is of one of the larger subspecies like the true red tails, it's unlikely to get larger than about eight feet or so. In fact, the majority of large adult boas uh, get to the six to eight foot range in captivity. So you might say, well, what about that picture of that 13 or 14 foot boa that I've seen? And there are some boas that really can get this big, but there are also some humans that can get to over eight feet tall. So we're talking about the extreme right uh, side of the bell curve. So there are some animals of any species that are gonna be extremely large, much larger than the average. But these represent a very, very small percentage. So it's likely that these large boas that get to be over 12 feet long are pretty rare and very few boas have the genetic makeup to get that large. Something else that adds to the confusion about the size of boa constrictors is the reported record for largest boa constrictor ever. And many books cite a record of 18 feet for the largest boa constrictor ever recorded. And so this is based on a specimen that was shot in the mid 20th century in Trinidad. And it was measured at 18, a little over 18 feet. And then mysteriously the um, skin and the body of the animal disappeared and there were no photographs or no concrete physical evidence. So it seems almost certain that that animal was not a boa constrictor, but rather was an anaconda. And it's known that anacondas can get up to over 20 feet long. They are truly a giant snake. But boa constrictors, it seems that the um, largest confirmed record for a boa constrictor is somewhere in the 13 to 14 foot range. Another thing to keep in mind is that the size of your boa constrictor is related not just to the genetics, but also to its diet. And it's likely that if an animal is power fed and fed, say, once a week throughout its life, that it's going to reach a larger size than if it was fed a more reasonable diet. So these power fed animals generally uh, have quite a few different health problems and they generally have a greatly shortened lifespan which is why I don't recommend power feeding. And I'll just repeat here that my typical regimen for feeding my boas is from birth to about two to three years of age. I feed an appropriate rodent every other week. And then from about age three to they reach uh, sexual maturity at about age five, they get one rodent about every three weeks. And then my mature animals, I typically feed about once every four weeks. Now I'm going to show you some adult boas which have all reached near their maximum size. So it's likely these animals will put on a few more inches over the remainder of their life as boas, like all snakes, continue to grow throughout their life. But they've reached probably 95% of their maximum size at this point. This is one of the largest boas in my collection. This is an adult female Guiana true red tail boa. And she's probably about seven, seven and a half feet long. She's about eight years old. So this animal is about what you can expect for the maximum size for most adult true red tail boas if you feed them on a similar feeding schedule that I've described previously. So she's had a couple litters. I don't think she's gonna get much bigger than this. Um, so it's a, it's a big snake, but it's certainly not a giant snake and it's not something that's nearly as difficult to manage as say a large Burmese a python or reticulated python. This animal is one of the largest male boas in my collection. This is a adult male Guiana true red tail. Like the female I just showed you, he's also eight years old 
and he's about a foot shorter than the female. He's about six and a half feet. Typically adult males will be about a foot or so shorter than the adult females. And so this guy is actually larger than a lot of my adult uh, true red tails. I have several that maxed out in about the five to five and a half foot range. And remember, true red tails are one of the largest, if not the largest, type of boa that's available in captivity. In fact, the record of that 13 or 14 foot boa, these are typically for the true red tails that uh, these types of size claims are made. So if you want a slightly smaller boa, you should pick a male rather than a female. Now I want to show you a large adult boa imperator. This is a Honduran fire belly boa. She's a little spirited, so I'm keeping a safe distance here. But this is one of my largest common boas. She's about six and a half feet or so. Another multiple proven breeder. Um, boa imperator in general don't get as big as the boa constrictor constrictor. So this is typical of the large adult size for this type of boa. Um, and they usually top out at in you know the six or seven foot range. Now I'm going to go to the small end of the scale and show you a couple adults of that are representative of some of the smaller dwarf localities. And this is a 10-year-old adult Tarahumara mountain boa. So this guy has sired multiple litters. And he's at his full adult size, which is maybe four feet long. You know, so definitely not just not a giant snake, but this isn't even a large snake. I would call this right in the medium sized snake category, similar to the size of a ball python or cord snake or king snake or many of the other really popular pet snakes. So these animals live uh, in the wild in an area that has a, a not too much available food. So they're adapted to live on a low caloric intake and they really don't get all that big. They live in um, mountaintop environments above the desert in northern Mexico. Uh, and so for that reason in captivity they only feed um, relatively infrequently. Uh, this adult gets a small or medium rat about once a month. And again, definitely not a giant. And if you're concerned that your boa is going to get too big, I definitely recommend that you check out some of these dwarf boas. The last boa I want to show you is another example of an adult dwarf boa. This animal is probably the smallest fully mature animal that I have. This is an adult male crawl key boa who's about seven years old. And this guy is maybe three and a half feet or so truly a diminutive animal. Um, the the crawl key boas are from an island off the coast of Belize and they've evolved a smaller size because of the limited availability of food and so these animals may only eat 10 or 12 times a year in the wild. So they've evolved into this smaller body size. Um, this animal is currently, I have this animal paired up and I'm hoping for a litter from my crawl key boas later this year. So, um, I, which brings me to the point that if you really want to know about the size of your boa, it's a good idea to ask the breeder what the sizes of both the mother and the father of the boa were. And then if you feed your boa on a similar feeding schedule, it should attain a similar size, more or less, to the parents. So, this guy is actually quite a bit smaller than the female I have him paired up with. She's probably about five and a half feet. She's kind of big for a crawl key boa. And it's kind of comical because she looks so much bigger than him uh, when they're in the cage together uh, mating. Uh, so again, if you wanted a small boa that's not gonna get larger than a ball python or corn snake, crawl key boa is definitely a good dwarf locality to check out. The last thing I wanted to say is that I did have a larger pair of boas in the past and the largest boas I ever had were my original pair of Argentine boas, boa constrictor occidentalis. So these animals um, unfortunately passed away a few years ago but at the time of their deaths they were both about 20 years old and they were both in around the eight and a half to nine foot range. 
So it's possible that some of my larger BCC, like the ones I showed you, might get to close to this range over their lifespan. But again, I haven't see, had any boa that's been 10 feet or close to 10 feet. And I, I'm pretty sure that boas this size are either genetically very special and quite rare, or they've been power fed or a combination of both. So I hope that if you thought a boa constrictor was too big of a snake, that maybe this video caused you to reconsider a little bit and that many boa constrictors really aren't near the giants that they're portrayed to be. I hope this was helpful to you. As always, feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.